What's going on pirates? Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Plunder Pirates. This is the Game Hunter and this is the quest for <laughs> my pirate ship level 5. Yes, because uh, I've been kind of lazy, uh, to be quite honest. Uh, I stopped um, upgrading my pirate ship a long time ago because I was using all the grog for the upgrading units. Okay. But in this episode is gonna be Grog Madness. I'm gonna be reviewing a couple of replays of how I was able to obtain the Grog necessary to upgrade my parrot ship to level 5. Which is really not easy because you need 4 million some 400,000 on Grog. Quite a lot. Anyway, I'm gonna be using a similar probably army in most of these attacks. So I just want you to give you an idea of a solid, solid base of uh, units that you can use. This first attack, we're using a classic combination of uh, brutes, gunners, bombard, bombers, bombard. <laughs> What's that? Bombers, Santa Bruton's clowns, and some juggernaut. Um, easily, I mean, we're gonna we gotta probably learn a lot just seeing the deployments in these attacks because they're all are quite similar. Okay, um, they are gonna probably have the the juggernauts in front because they are the one that can take more hit points and after that we can probably switch to brutes or depending on the unit okay so we're gonna start analyzing since the next attack let's see next attack 783,000 of grog that we're obtaining this attack so let's see how we did that um, decent base this is a level probably six Something like that. Those cannons are high level, not the maximum. I think they're level 12. But again, we're gonna first of all deploy our juggernauts. One of the reasons to deploy the juggernauts first is because they can disarm bombs and traps. So it's quite useful to have those guys first. Um, once I have those guys on land, you can probably put some Brutus or Brutes, or whatever you want to call them, <laughs> and start attacking defensive buildings. Uh, we'll probably recommend you to put some bombers after that because the bombers even when they're kind of crazy uh, one of the big problems with the bombers is that they uh, if they don't destroy something after a few seconds I think after five seconds they're just gonna move to the next target but uh, a good combination combination is using a witch doctor behind the bombers because the bombers tend to die quite easily but if you had a witch doctor in the back hmm, you can probably revive a couple of skeletons and have a new army right after that, once uh, everything is like a clean in the front line, is the time for the gunners. The gunners, I'm telling you right now, is the most important unit in the game. They destroy every building extremely, extremely fast. Uh, and if you put a, a witch doctor with some gunners in the back, as the last units to the of the deployment, uh, well, they they can do some nasty, nasty damage. By the time the brute and the juggernauts are receiving the, all the firepower for the enemy base, you have the gunners in the back just taking care of the rest. Is this pirate ship, pirate hull going down? Yes, two stars. We're doing okay. Santa Bruton's crowns. And somebody asked me in a, my last video. What is the level of my Santa Bruton clowns? And I believe it's, uh, it's depending on the level of their brute. My brute are thin at level 14. So my Santa Bruton's clown is level 12. Quite powerful, I would say. And it's just... Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's shocking how powerful it is. But And especially with the, the cool special ability. <laughs> which I love. Throwing gnomes all over the place is awesome. So you see that right now we have the, the Brutes taking care of receiving damage. You have some Skeletons or probably some Fallen Bombers or Juggernauts or whatever taking care of the rest. And those those Skeletons are quite powerful. Okay, They are a little bit slow. They are slow, not a little bit slow. Uh, let me fast forward this a little bit. But they are powerful. It, it's giving you another, another pair of hands to continue attacking. Let's go to the next attack, 446,000 in Grog, another decent attack. And you saw the army on the screen, this is a base, a little more complicated. Um, we're gonna attack from this angle, 
because we are gonna try to avoid that pirate ship and also the ground pounder as you can see is aiming in the, in the other direction so we're gonna attack the ground pounder from behind and make it completely useless uh, bunker outside which I don't know why is really easy to destroy and once that we have uh, the juggernaut doing some damage it's time to get the gunners out so they can bring down the pirate ship in two seconds yes with our special ability to do extra damage okay it's not recommended to deploy all the units at the same time because uh, sometimes those units they're not gonna go in the direction that you want them to go okay so you need to plan your attack and uh, and if the the units start moving in another direction you need to be able to uh, improvise right right now I have my, my 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 troops are completely separated but I put some witch doctor in each area uh, sent a brutus clown a couple of brutes uh, some bombard <laughs> the bombard guys are destroying every building so so fast not even funny um, and I got a couple gunners are still alive in here the idea is to bring down those uh, mortars as soon as possible probably it's not a good idea to have two mortars that close because remember at, at, at short range the mortars are completely useless and they're kind of easy to destroy they are together to say the least usually somebody's gonna try to focus the attack in those mortars so the idea is to probably put one more to each corner of your defensive uh, perimeter right one more time we're doing okay Santa Brutus clown Brutus attacking Brutus attacking the rest of the yes defensive building bunker down which doctor reviving some skeletons and here we go now the army is still moving the army is not gonna stop because after all the falling troops we still have some firepower we still have some troops moving thanks to the witch doctor let's go a little bit closer see how cool it looks <laughs> the witch doctor in action um, and again the witch doctor is one of those units that you need to upgrade uh, once that you get some extra range um, and you get the special ability or revive uh, falling pirates um, the character is unbelievable. It's extremely useful. That is one of those key units that I have in my army now. I mean, I used to save it for big attacks because uh, it's really expensive. Right now, my witch doctor is like a forty thousand in gold, uh, but uh, forty thousand in grog. Sorry. But now that my base is completely maxed, maxed out, I got all the defensive buildings to the maximum, and just upgrading walls right now, and some resources building, but. Besides that, I have extra grog for everything. Let's go to the next one. 744,000 in grog. I'm sorry, my friend, but I need those. And we're going to use, again, the same configuration, the same team. Let's put the juggernauts first. And I'm not going to deploy anything for a few. I'm going to make sure that the juggernauts... And, and I need to see where the juggernauts are going. Okay. Let's first analyze what these guys are doing. One witch doctor is going with these guys because I want to make sure that they they can receive some extra extra damage. Uh, it's probably time to deploy some some gunners. See if we can bring down that pirate ship one more time. Gunners are extremely extremely useful against the pirate ship, and it's usually that area, the pirate ship area, um, is the most uh, is the weakest spot of every base. Depending, sometimes some people like to put the, the pirate ship in the middle of the base, which is kind of strange, but sometimes it works. But usually, the, the side that has the pirate ship is the weakest one. Um, it doesn't happen all the time, but if you analyze a couple bases, you will notice that you're gonna have double walls in every single angle, like in this one. You notice double walls in every angle except from the one that is protecting the pirate ship. So that makes my life easier <laughs> that's it you need to analyze every base i mean every base is completely different as we see the joggy sun brutes moving and destroying everything um and this this was exactly the weakest spot of this base you see the bunkers and aiming another direction i don't know why i mean I, I guess my friend was expecting me to attack from the other angle but uh it's a no-brainer i mean attacking from from that area bring bring down the power powerful pirate ship that will do it the rest is just making a hole have my juggernauts my brutes to receive the damage and here comes the gunners and the bombers who are gonna take care of the rest 
And again, Witch Doctor. We have two Witch Doctors right now. Let's see, one of these Witchy Doctors in action. Oh, these guys are trying to fight for who's going to the Owl House first, I guess. <laughs> and a bunch of little skeletons moving all over the place. Really powerful units. Um, well, they're not really powerful, but it's ex extremely useful to have some some backup units. Here we go. This base is going down extremely, extremely fast. Gunner with special ability, and all the troops are moving towards the guild building. Yeah. <laughs> the guild building, which is... I'm gonna get destroyed in a few seconds. There we go. Everybody's celebrating now. <laughs> Let's go to the next one, because we need some grog. 4,000, 21,000. Grog, another interesting base. Uh, if you analyze it again, uh, this time we're gonna attack from the other side because they don't have any walls, and probably um, this person expect us to be afraid of the the cannon, the t uh, the tower guns, the gun towers in there, and uh, I don't know. I, I just don't know what was the idea of this base. It has a big, big hole in the middle. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna deploy the Juggernauts. As you guys notice, I decide to have the Juggernauts, and the Juggernauts are... I wait for a few seconds to see where these guys were supposed to move. And now that I know that they're going towards the base, it's the time for the Brutes and the time for the Bomber. Bombers right behind, bringing down everything. Those tower guns are gonna just... it's, it's just like a decoration. <laughs> And it was easy at this point to deploy the gunners with another witch doctor for extra protection and bring down the power, power pirate ship, pirate ship, pirate hole, in two seconds. That is exactly what we were trying to do. Now all the mortars are aiming at our juggernauts and brutes. So it's the time for you to deploy the the second level of units, which is the bombards and the gunners, to take care of the rest. And they do an awesome job. They do a really awesome job. I like to mix a little bit between Juggernauts and Bomber. I mean, Juggernauts and Brutes. Um, some people say, oh, you should just deploy Juggernauts. Uh, some others say, just deploy Brutes. But the problem is that the Brutes, the Brutes are gonna try to target enemy defensive buildings. And the Juggernauts are gonna attack whatever is in front of them. So probably it's recommended to have a mix. It's, uh, that way you can uh, improvise in case something goes wrong. And sometimes you deploy your brutes. Uh, uh, probably you didn't analyze the map correctly, and you notice, oh, it's a little island with a cannon or something like that. And you see all your brutes are going in one direction, and there you go. You're gonna waste so much time until you see those units coming back. So that's why it's good to have some juggernauts. Juggernauts are just gonna continue moving forward. 273 grog. Let's go to the next one because we need some grog and pay for our pirate ship. Um, not that difficult. It's gonna attack again. We're gonna attack from this angle. First of all, trying to deploy the joggies. It's a witch doctor to provide some extra cover. Set the Bruton's cloud. Here we go. Gnomes ready and deployed. Trying to make sure that these guys are moving ahead a little bit. And this is the problem. You see right now, for example, my, my brutes decide to go in another direction. Uh, even when you're expecting them to go directly into the enemy base. No, and the bomber. <laughs> wow, the, the bombers also went in another plan in another direction. So this is one of this is one of those uh, attacks that they can go either way. They can go extremely they can be extremely successful or they can be a big, big failure. Um, so far, I'm not sure, but at least having those witch doctors allow me to stay in the race. Yeah, we're attacking for both angles, which is also good. That way you can... Uh, the idea is to avoid <laughs> the mortar and the splash damage as much as possible. See? A little bring them on, so the brutes are going to receive some extra damage for a few seconds. In the meantime, I got the skeletons, I got the bombers, <laughs> and everybody chipping in to bring down the last of the defensive buildings. Uh, like I was saying, if you deploy units in different angles, it's good because the the mortar, which is probably the most dangerous uh, defensive building in anybody's base, uh, it's, uh, it's probably good if you put it separated so all your units are not going to receive the damage of both. I mean, you can spread your units a little bit and 
trying to avoid, avoid that splash damage. So far we're doing okay, things are going down. Grog is getting... And he's... Hmm, he's piling in our containers, which is good. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Another attack, 278. Here we go, same combination. And let's deploy another complicated base. Not because of the level. The wall levels are just extremely low in this one. Uh, it's just really hard to understand because uh, all the defensive buildings are level 12. I mean, the cannons are level 12. Uh, it's hard to believe that the, those walls are so, so low level. And there we go. One more time. Doing the same. Juggernaut first and Brutes also. Gunners bringing down the the Grog. Yes, bringing down everything, the storage, and having two witch doctors is just an extra plus in all these attacks, as I was mentioning before. But don't don't forget to upgrade those units first, okay? Otherwise, the witch doctor is almost useless at the beginning. It's no so it's so so bad and not worth it to deploy it. But uh, for big battles like this one, yes. I would recommend to have at least one or two ready to deploy. You need to play both. You can deploy them, and depending on what, how many troops you have, uh, the kind of kind of troops that you're using. But um, usually, one or two is more than enough. More, more, more than enough. Of course, we're gonna we're gonna do some special episode and special attacks and, and crazy attacks, basically. Like a probably a mass of juggernauts and brutes. Just with the witch doctors, and let's see how far they can go, <laughs> and things like that. If you have any idea of a special combination of troops you want me to try, let me know. But I believe uh, having a balanced uh, army is is completely necessary, right? I mean, some joggies, brutes, some bombards, uh, even some some buccaneers. Well, we're still a little bit far away to our goal of the four thousand, <laughs> between four million four hundred. Ah, 400,000. This is crazy. No, no, no. But we're gonna recruit the last army. And we're going live. Let's recruit our last army and see if we can get the croc that we need. Um, you can play around with the quantity of juggernauts. Sometimes seven. Sometimes I sometimes I just have four. <laughs> four brutes, four juggernauts. The rest just um, bombers and gunners. And it works pretty good. And this one, let's go for the... Uh, let's see if we can get something. Uh, da -da -da. It's not... I don't see this space that complicated. Let's see, attack from one of the angles. Oh, there's a bunker in there. Doesn't matter, let's go. Let's go and see if we can finally reach the goal of the... 4,400,000 to upgrade our pirate ship. Nice. Which doctor is doing some damage, but those juggernauts are gonna are gonna be a difficult force to stop. Here comes a crazy bomber. They're uh, they're just moving everywhere. Um, see, some of my gunners decide to go to one of the little islands. So you need to improvise. That's why I didn't want to deploy all my gunners. So I've got some gunners in the left side, gunners close to the pirate ship also. Um, that's probably a good idea. If you move your troops and you separate it a little bit, it's always a good, good idea. And I think we're getting in. Yeah, we got pirate hull destroyed. And to bring down those mortars, which, as you guys know, are the most difficult part to bring down. But besides that, right now you see having all the big guys in front. And with extra protection with the witch doctors and allowing my gunners to do whatever they want. Right now the gunners are just destroying, tearing this base apart. Aha! Makumba, Makumba, here come some more <laughs> skeletons. And they're gonna help us to finish this base. Ooh, this base is going down big time. Wow. They don't stand a chance. I remember the 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 gunners can shoot across walls or 
over walls so that's another plus why to have that kind of unit in your army doing okay so far yeah yeah this base is going down to get some extra chips pirate chip and i think it's probably more than enough <laughs> There we go, more grog. About 387,000. Not too bad. And I think we already reached the the goal. Yes! We got 4,400,000. It's gonna take a couple of hours, but it's gonna be completely worth it. Now we're gonna be able to access some areas of the map that I couldn't reach before. Uh, well, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was really fun. A bunch of attacks. And this is a game hunter. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share my videos. I'll see you in the next one, pirate. Take care, everybody.